Hello friends. Welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we will walk you through the ways we can use bulk edit feature for assigning a gender attribute for our products. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. The gender attribute is used to describe the gender for which our products are intended. When gender information is provided, potential customers can accurately filter products by gender to narrow down the search results. Like here we are searching for jogging shoes. We have the option in the sidebar to filter the search result as per gender to which the products are applicable for. The supported values for gender attribute are as follows. Male female unisex google uses the gender information together with the size and age group values provided in the feed to standardize the sizes that are to be shown in the search results to the users gender is also required for all the products of apparel and accessories category to be eligible for enhanced free listing as well as paid shopping ads on google and other similar kinds of ad formats which can be placed on other marketing platforms or marketplaces Adding gender can help ensure that our products are shown with the right search results which will result in boosting the conversion rate. Let's take another example where we will search for a specific term so that we are shown with only relevant ads. Here we are looking for running shoes for men. And as we can clearly see, only those running shoes have appeared in front of us which are designed for men. Let's proceed with assigning gender using bulk edit feature. Once a feed is submitted to the Google Merchant Center from our app, Google reviews the product data feed to check if any required or recommended attributes are missing. When the review is completed, Google lists out all the errors and warnings. To sync these errors and warnings with our app, please navigate to the Manage Products page of the app. Here, in the column of errors from Merchant Center, Please click on the Refresh Product Errors option. A dialog box will pop up where we need to enter an email ID to which we would like to have an error sync report to be delivered. Then click on the Fetch Product Status button. It will start fetching the product level issues and warnings. It may take a few minutes to fetch the errors and warnings based on the number of products submitted in the feed to Google Merchant Center along with other marketplaces. Please be informed that the manual error sync from Merchant Center option is available only once in every 24 hours. Our app also fetches errors and warnings from Google Merchant Center automatically. If any new update is pushed to Google Merchant Center for any particular product, or else if the entire feed is resynced again. Once it is done, we will be able to see the error and warning messages against the respective products within our app under the errors from Merchant Center column. Now we are all set to filter products by each error or warning. To filter products by missing value gender warning, please click on filter products, then from the list of options choose, error from merchant center, it will show us list of errors and warnings in the second drop down menu, from which we will choose missing value gender, and hit on add filter button, to apply the filter. As we can see here, it has filtered out all other products, and only lists out products, that are having warning for missing value gender. Before proceeding ahead with assigning gender value to resolve the warning message of missing value gender flag by Google Merchant Center, please ensure that you have assigned the correct Google product category to all your products. We suggest this because if the Google product category is not assigned manually, as per your products, in that case, Google automatically assigns a product category. There are times when the automatic product category value assigned by Google is observed to be inaccurate. The required attribute for this inaccurate product category may differ from the actual product requirements. Let's have a look at one use case we created for a demo. As we can see here, the last product in the filtered products list is also missing Google product category. Upon checking the same product in the Google Merchant Center, we can clearly see that 
This is a seasonal home decoration product as visible in the product image and stated in the product title. But Google has automatically categorized this product under necklaces, which falls under the category of apparel and accessories. And as mentioned earlier, gender value will also be required for all apparel and accessories products, Google has raised a warning for missing value gender. So now to resolve this warning. We just need to assign the correct Google product category for this product within a wrap. It can be assigned using the do edits in bulk feature. Once the Google product category is updated in the Merchant Center, warnings related to missing value gender, age group, and color will also vanish automatically without assigning the gender value within the app. On a side note, when we have synced the errors and warnings from the Google Merchant Center with our app, it has also sent us an email with the list of errors and warnings mentioning the number of affected products as shown here. Upon clicking on the error or warning message from the list, it automatically redirects us to the app and applies the filter to list out only those products which are affected by that error or warning raised by Google in the Google Merchant Center. Like here, it has applied a filter to display products with missing value gender warning when we have clicked on the same error message in the email. As we can see the seasonal decorative product is no longer visible in the filtered products, it implies that the missing value gender error is already resolved. This is because the errors and warnings were refetched after Google product category was assigned for that product and submitted to Google Merchant Center with updated data. Coming back to the actual subject matter, our app allows you to filter products based on multiple sets of criteria at once. For example, it empowers you to filter all the products for which gender is still not assigned within the app, along with an already applied filter for products with missing value gender warning. To filter out these products, please click on the filter products and choose gender from the listed alternatives. From the value drop-down menu, please select not defined or blank as conditioned value and hit on the add filter button. This will now filter only those products that have missing value gender error, but custom gender value is not assigned to them within a wrap using the bulk edit feature. Let's proceed to assign the gender attribute for the remaining products. While using the bulk edit feature, the knowledge about the products we are selling on our online store is essential because it will allow us to reach a particular group of products that will make the bulk gender assignment process easier. Additionally, we can apply any other filters for reaching at a very granular level of a specific product group, like filtering by product tag or simply we can look for the product with gender name in the search box. Like here we are searching for men. This will also work as an additional filter to narrow down the results and show only those products that include men in their product titles. But women's products will also be part of the filtered products as they will also include the men word in the title. So it will be wiser to first filter the products with women's products with the help of search bar. We can select all the filtered products using the main checkbox available beside the product header. Here we have selected the products which contain women's in the product title. Now, to assign gender for these products, please click on the do edits in bulk option. It will open up a drop-down list available to assign various custom attributes in the app. We will need to select the assign gender option. In the dialog box, we are selecting female in the value field and hitting on the apply and bulk button. This will assign the female as gender value to all the selected products and will submit them to your Google Merchant Center. Now that the gender value is defined for all those products, they are no longer part of existing applied filters. The reason being the applied filter is meant for the products which are not assigned with gender value within a wrap. So, now it's time to modify the filter. To do that, we can either click on the cross mark in any particular filter, or by deleting the search query from the search bar, or replacing it with any other search query. We can now search men in the search bar, which will now only display those products that include men in the product titles. Let's quickly assign gender value as male for all the filtered products. After removing the filter, we see that there are no products left that include any word or phrase which defines the gender of a particular product for which it is intended for. 
so we need to figure out any other way out to assign gender value for remaining products. Like, from the product image or based on product type. As it is evident from the product image, the last five products are designed to be used by men. To select multiple products at a time, click the first product, then press the shift key and hold it. Click the last product and release the shift key. This will select all the products within the selected range. Now we can assign male as gender value for them using the bulk edit feature. Similarly, we will assign female as gender value for women's party dress and clutch bag. Now we are left with rings, which meant for both men and women. So we will assign unisex as gender value for them. Please keep in mind, unisex value should be assigned to products, only if products are suitable for both male and female. Otherwise keep using different filtering options to assign the correct value of the gender to each and every product that has this warning or error. Here, we are done with assigning gender value for all the products which were affected by missing value gender warning. As we can see, these products are now showing the pending status. This is because whenever we do bulk edit or assign any custom attribute manually within the app, it may take about 30 minutes to process it and submit it to Google Merchant Center and other marketing platforms. Points to bear in mind. Gender values which we have just assigned for our products using the bulk edit feature are limited for feed only. This means that they will not be written back to your Shopify store for updating your product details. Gender values defined using the bulk edit feature of the app will be applicable only at the product level and not at the variance level. This implies that the same gender value will be submitted for all the product variants. If your store setup requires to assign the gender value at the variant level, then kindly follow our other video which will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating automated rules to assign gender value at variant level. You will find the link in the description below. Also, if you have already updated the gender values for your products within your Shopify store under the product meta fields, then you will be able to sync those values within our app without going through the entire process of assigning custom values within our app. You will be able to sync them using the resync meta fields options available within our app. We have also added the help video link, how you can use different methods for product meta field syncing with our app, in the description of this video. Let's review Google Merchant Center. After assigning the value for gender attribute and submitting updated feed to our Google Merchant Center, if we check the diagnostics page, we might see a warning for missing value gender is still appearing in the item issues list. This might have ignited your curiosity to know why the warning is still appearing in the Google Merchant Center account, even though we have already assigned the gender value for all the products where the gender attribute was missing. Actually, the diagnostics page of the Google Merchant Center usually takes at least 30 minutes to update the list of item issues and show only the errors and or warnings that still need our attention. To verify if gender value is updated within Google Merchant Center or not, let's check a product. Please click on the view examples link available against a missing value gender warning. It will display the list of affected products. Let's check this women's dress. Click on the title of the product to visit the product details page. As we can see here, gender is already visible on the product details page. Also, warning for missing value gender vanished from the item status section. If we check the raw feed attributes section, it will also show the same gender value as we have assigned in the app. With this we have come to the end of the video as we are done with assigning gender attribute value to our products. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing.